Like and subscribe as we get stuck into this one. Smackdown kicks off with the megastar, LA Knight. Knight reiterates his belief that he will beat Roman Reigns at Crown Jewel before being interrupted by the Tribal Chief. Roman says that Knight is just a redneck cosplay version of The Rock and says after Crown Jewel the fans will forget about Knight when he's buried in the desert. Knight says he's different to all of Roman's other challengers because he's not trying to end something, he's looking to start something. He doesn't care for ending Roman's reign as champion, he wants to start his own reign. Nick Aldis and referees come in to keep the two men separated. There's some pushing and shoving but nothing major as Roman leaves. Kevin Owens is here for the opening match, he takes on Austin Theory with Grayson Waller on guest commentary. KO hits a pop up powerbomb and a stunner to pick up the win. Bianca Belair has a backstage interview but she gets jumped by damage control ahead of her match with Bailey later on. They all get split up by Nick Aldis and some referees, they've been busy tonight. Backstage Logan Paul meets Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits. They shake hands because they all don't like Rey Mysterio as Logan says he will win the US Championship at Crown Jewel. Logan leaves but Lashley is approached by B-Fab. I think I speak for everyone when I say I did not know she was still employed. She wants to talk business as she and Lashley leave. So Sokoa and Paul Heyman come to the ring. Heyman takes to the mic and says that when John Cena came back he picked a fight with the bloodline and Roman made the call that Solo would be the one to end Cena. Heyman even says in this promo that when the timing is right Solo will be the tribal chief. Seems like the same psychological war games Heyman used on Jey Uso are being used on Solo. Solo takes the mic and calls out John Cena and Cena appears coming to the ring. Solo says that Roman Reigns gave him orders to give Cena the mic and tells him to say goodbye to the fans. Cena instead takes to the mic and cooks Solo, saying he's only got a job because of his cousin, which could have either been Roman or Dwayne, who knows. He says Solo is just a dollar store Taz, Heyman looks stunned, John is looking like Insult Jones out here as he leaves after roasting Solo. Up next, the Brian Brutes face pretty deadly in a good old fashioned Donnybrook match. It's an Extreme Rules match with a British pub theme. The Brutes attack pretty deadly on the ramp to get us going. Ridge Holland puts Elton Prince through a table, who doesn't love a table breaking? Butch hits a bro kick on Kit Wilson but only gets a two count. The Brutes set up a table to put Kit through but Kit runs away. Ridge runs after him but he crashes into some barrels. Butch and Kit fight on the ropes but Elton hits Butch with a glass as Pretty Deadly put Butch through a table and pin Butch to win the Donnybrook. We see the way in for Logan Paul versus Rey Mysterio at Crown Jewel. I think it's weird they did this but with Logan having done weigh-ins for boxing I can see why they've gave that segment to him. Logan goes first and weighs in at 213 pounds of raw steroid abuse, allegedly. Rey weighs in at 175 pounds and the two go face to face or at face to chest because just like Dennis Wise Ray is a very small man. Boy, that's a niche reference. Ray slaps Logan and just like Dylan Dennis, hits Logan with a microphone. Two are separated by security as your segment ends. In your main event, Bianca Belair faces Bailey. Damage control are banned from ringside after their earlier shenanigans, channeling their inner Dick Dastardly and Muttley. Bianca channels Willow Smith and whips her hair back and forth before hitting a KOD and pinning Bailey for the win. After the match, she puts Bailey through the announce table with another KOD to end the show.